A group of warriors and their armies are battling the Dark King in Yaguto in an effort to extinguish him before his evil soldiers and black magic overrun everything. To get the full narrative, make sure to stay tuned until the end. The struggle for a kingdom's liberation has erupted into a massive conflict. Huri, one of our protagonists, is engaged in battle with bad powers. He's barely hanging on, but he has assembled an army that's currently engaged in combat with the evil Black Army. It is imperative to permanently destroy the Black King in order to prevent him from engulfing the country in gloom and misery. Diverse tribes and ethnicities from all around the country of Yggdra make up the army of heroes that has come to vanquish the evil army. To rid their country of evil is their shared objective. The conflict is fierce, and the adversary employs strong mages and soldiers to defeat our heroes. Sadly, the day proves unsuccessful for Yuri and his army of heroes. The mystical chain chronicle, which documents the history of the region, is split in two as a result of the Black Kings shifting the battle's momentum. Inexplicably, Parika, one of the spirit allies assisting Yuri, vanishes during the battle. The heroes gather after Yuri's injury and strive to come up with a fresh strategy. The army has disintegrated because several of the Alliance's generals and commanders have already given up. The Black King triumphs, allowing him to spread darkness across more of the country. Aram, a young farm child who leads a rather typical existence, is introduced to us as our main protagonist, so not all hope is lost just yet. Aram is residing in a tiny village when Black Army Knights arrive. Along with his pals, Kiri takes part in the fight for the seemingly ordinary farm boy. The hero gets to know one another as Yuri and Aram easily defeat the knights. Aram meets Yuri's pals but falls asleep before they can introduce themselves. The group is eating together while sitting by the fire later that night, but Aram wakes up. The group learns that there's still hope thanks to Aram's assistance when the evil energy stops, and it appears that Pirika, their companion and spirit guide, may still be alive. Later, Yuri and Aram discuss his enlistment in the army to fight the Black King. The crew enters a conflict in a huge city the following day. The Black Army is launching a full-scale assault, and we watch as the heroes bravely struggle to repel them. Aram uses his unique magic skills to enhance everyone's weapons, while also showcasing his strength and prowess in battle. Princess Julia assigns Burkhardt, a member of the Royal Knights, who has been with Hiri and his gang for some time, to stay by their side while she travels the country, recruiting allies in the war against the Black Army. As a token of friendship, Dusty, one of Yuri's team's greatest fighters, gives Aram his finest blade. Burkhart, on the other side, feels even more alone. Princess Julius later bids farewell and gets ready to embark on her quest. When a wicked magician serving the Black King appears, issues arise almost immediately, while Yuri and his men go their own ways. She's called Irinus, and she uses the darkness to corrupt Burkhart. After he fights for his life, he reluctantly accepts his new form and turns into a demon. After a brief combat, he vanishes. He then proceeds to assault Yuri and Aram as well as the other heroes. Princess Julia learns from the joke what has happened to Burkhart, and she's devastated to learn that her old friend has turned evil. Invasions and destruction are happening everywhere in the meantime. Attacks on royal knights and guards are currently being made by individuals wearing black hoods who wish to transform into demons and join the Black King. One man, who claims he would rather become a demon than be kidnapped, is challenged by Princess Julia. She explains what it really means to be a demon and how, if he follows through, he would never again see his family and friends. We can observe that Yuri's battle with the Black King is the source of his illness in other places. Fina tries to use the scroll to heal him, even though his arm has nearly completely been swallowed by darkness. The crew approaches the Sage Tower the following day and requests assistance from its leader, Melker. Instead, he sends out his wizards to assault the group in order to test them. The team is then invited into the tower, where Melker and his mage council inform them that the Imperial City is currently surrounded by a darkness barrier and that they must proceed to the Maze Pass in order to find answers. Along with the crew, Melker also sends a few of his magicians. The crew climbs the pass's snowy labyrinth. They are trapped in a huge blizzard, but their problems do not end there, when a few undead knights appear and engage them in combat. As a result, Yuri and Aram plunge down a cliff into the abyss. A massive item is being examined by Marina and Fina as the Chronicle book begins to glow. Meanwhile, as the darkness progressively fills his thoughts, Yuri becomes lost in the snow and starts arguing with himself. A man named Shuza, a former ally who has now chosen to take the Chronicle and become king himself, meets them as they continue on their mission. Fina receives threats from Shuza until she gives him the Chain Chronicle. The two then engage in a sword battle. Due to Shuza's anger with Yuri's leadership style and tactical approach to combat, the entire gang begins to engage in combat with his army. 
After witnessing how distressed and terrified her people are in another location, Princess Julia thinks it's time to ascend to the throne and establish herself as the only legitimate ruler. After battling Yuri and Aram, Shuza is successful in obtaining the book. However, a beast as well as Ironies, Burkhart, and other Black King's minions appear all of a sudden. Princess Julia takes over as the legitimate ruler. After this, drives Yuri over the prank and causes him to totally convert into a servant of the demonic Black King. Yuri, who's now a Black Knight himself, exits through a portal with the other bad magicians. On the other hand, Aram and Fina become friends over supper. They determine that the task is still crucial and that the only chance to save Yuri is to travel to Spirit Island to seek out Parika. In the meantime, Queen Julia learns about Yuri and Shuza and resolves to defend her people even in the face of erstwhile allies. As the group heads towards Spirit Island, also landing on the island is Yuri, who has since become a Black Knight. The island is teeming with darkness and black forces when Aram and Fina arrive there. Their objective is to travel to Yggdra in order to search for solutions hidden inside the Chronicle. They have succeeded in reaching the Tree of Life, where Yggdra is. As the Black Knight, Yuri appears and assaults Aram. The administrator leads Fina and Aram on a tour of the history of the continent. They see Yuri's conflict with the Black King, as well as his early training to become a knight and defend the weak. As Yuri battles Rafalgar to prevent him from accessing the record, Yuri infects it with darkness. In the end, Aram and Fina return from the island with the intention of carrying out their task. Fina and Aram travel to the desert city in pursuit of Musika, a strong person who has the ability to call even a dragon to life with her voice. Aram visits the location of Queen Julia and Shuza's negotiations as Fina searches for Musika. The Black Army interrupts the proceedings, and Shuza battles Alzheimer's while Queen Julia battles Burkhart, a former ally. Up until Aram steps in, the darkness is pervasive and is steadily engulfing both Shuza and Julia. When things look the worst, Aram's little pet furball transforms into a huge guardian dragon, sending the bad forces fleeing. The last-minute preparations are moving forward for the assault on the Black King. Aram brings along Furball, who has grown into a massive dragon. When Fina and Musika arrive with their allies, the mages are busy building strong flying machines to attack the Citadel. As the Black King spreads his darkness throughout the land, its state is deteriorating. Burkhart teleports into the base at Sage Tower and begins to attack Aram, but Furball shoots a vicious blast at him, knocking him off the Ark. The decisive conflict starts. In the decisive conflict over the continent, the Black King is attacked by the suppression army of the Black King and all of its allies. During the battle, the King is successful in capturing Fina. Here he uses his darkness to silence her as she tries to reason with him. The group encountered everyone on their route and all the allies Queen Julia had gathered. And when the King finally gets his hands on the Chain Chronicle, all the free armies of the continent engage in the war. Julia and Barkhard have one final altercation. Though Julia makes an effort to convince him of his good past as the Royal Guard, she ultimately decides to defeat him because Burkhardt has vanished, and he can no longer be saved. Aram must make a decision as he confronts Yuri. Can he save his best buddy, or will he have to kill him? Aram and Yuri start off fighting hard. Yuri just looks too quick and strong. However, all of his friends appear at once, even Kane, who's currently totally recovered. They all face their former buddy and leader together, and by working as a team, they were able to win back his heart and soul. Now that he has been set free from the shadows, Yuri joins the battle against the Black King. Fina vows to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to consume the entirety of the Chronicle's evil. When Aram and Yuri approach the King, they are able to extinguish the darkness within him because of their combined strength. The fight is over and the shadows are gone. Fina is gradually perishing. The Black King is revealed to be Fina's father, and he entrusts her with the Chronicle when Parika arrives and heals her. And the group embarks on a brand new thrilling journey. And that concludes the show. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting anime content and recaps. See you in the next video.